This is an introduction to our plug and play. Uh, this is the PP214 pin. Uh, the principles are pretty much the same as on the eight pin, but this is the 14 pin version. And I'm just gonna show you what's inside this. If you have to make any modifications, how to do that, just to make things easier. I'm trying our videos a little bit differently this time, uh, just to try and give you a little bit better close up. And so I'm hoping this works out well. Let me know in the comments if you like this or not. Uh, but anyways, this is how these are, are set up. There's two plugs here. So it's designed to control two uh, different solenoids. And how we set them up is we have C, we have D, and then we parallel the connection for E and F. The reason we did this is some machines have them on other sides. So Takuchi has uh, C and D on the opposite handle, and maybe you don't want to run the attachment on your right handle, so we have it so it's on the other side. What we're finding though is some of the new machines though, they have a problem where they'll send out an alarm. So the brand new John Deere P machines, they actually send out an alarm. So what you want to do is get rid of a couple of these connections. So what you do is you decide what you want. So let's say I want to use C and D. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of E and F in this connection. And I'll show you a couple different ways of doing this. So we just take the connector and we're just going to open it up. Okay, so we just want to loosen these two screws off on the side here, then unscrew strain relief off the back. Okay, now I've got this connection open here. The first thing you're going to see is if I reach inside here, there's a little connection in here. And what this connection is for is if you have a John Deere or, so let's talk about John Deere first. So John Deere has their ground in A, and this is pinned with the ground in B. If you're not planning on using it on a Caterpillar, you can cut this off, and I'll just show you how in a second here, and then slide it into A, and that will give you a ground in A and B. This will make this compatible with almost every 14 pin out there except Caterpillar. So Caterpillar uses that pin A, so you just gotta be aware that, um, that it's possible that you could push that button and it would push um, it would push that to ground, so that would blow your fuse in a Caterpillar D series. So, but every other machine, Kubota, New Holland, um, they're all going to work just fine if, if you put this jumper in. And so, it will also work on your John Deere and even your old Bobcat if you've got old Bobcats that have 14 pin. So that's all this jumper is for. Now, let me show you how you open this jumper up. So it's there's just some shrink tubing here. And this is all metal, this part here, down. So all I want to do is just give it a little slit. My razor knife. Let's see how that opens up there. And then just peel it back. You just want to have it peeled back out of the way. Okay. And there it is. Now all I'm going to do, the open position in the center here, if you can see inside there, that's A. So I'm just going to take the jumper, I'm going to use my needle nose here just to make it a little simpler, and I'll just guide it down with my needle nose. Just guide it down with my needle nose pliers. Down into A. Give it a little push. As you're pushing it, sometimes it's even easier just to get in there something sharp in the back of the connector. Just push it down. Now you see, it's clicked in there. So now I've got the four spots in the middle done. So I've got A and B, those are my grounds. C and D, that's my control. Then off to the side here, I've got E and F. And in this case, what I want to do is let's take that out. 
So because we want to only utilize one set of the controls and possibly we have a John Deere P series and we're getting an alarm. So all I'm gonna do is take my handy dandy tool. This comes with every single thing you buy from us. We always put a tool in there just in case you have to move things. And all we're gonna do, I like to spit on them. Just slide it down and you'll feel it kind of click. You give it a little turn, see how far down it is? Now I can just take something pointy that goes inside the hole, give it a little push, it pops it out. Get a little bit of guidance here. Off it comes, now let's go to the next one. Just gonna slide it down on the outside, see how far down it is. Go here, give it a little push. Now, if you've lost or broken your tool, like I've done quite a few times, you can just go to the center here. It needs to be, this is this tool is a little bit sensitive. This is a, actually a Delphi pin removal tool, but a small jeweler screwdriver is perfect that fits inside the socket. And you just hold it like that and give it a little tap with a, like a small little mallet, just a quick little tap and it'll pop it right out. It won't damage the connector. So that's another way of doing this. Now these two are live. So what you wanna do is put a little bit of tape over them before you tuck them back inside the connector. Then put your connector back together again. See how this is set up now? It's only gonna operate on C and D, okay? And see how easy it is to troubleshoot these? We actually use these uh, specialized LED connectors. So it's a Deutsch two pin, but it's got an LED built into it. So it's super easy to troubleshoot. Also, when you're first trying to figure out you know what buttons to push in your machine. You push the mach you push the machine buttons until these come on. Now they don't always come on if the machine's not turned on. Hydraulics running, auxiliary hydraulics chosen. So you have to make sure that you've got all of that in position, and then these should easily just work. You'll be able to turn them on and see which ones do what. And that's just that simple. That's the introduction to our plug and play uh, 14 pin. Also be aware with this plug and play that same jumper that we have installed or we had installed, I've got it ready here to come out. That goes from the ground. This is also capable of powering your, um, your Caterpillar high flow sense. So all you would do is it, depending on the machine you have, either a, uh, an XHPXE or XPS, you would just put this jumper in the correct position inside here. And then this would turn this on so that when you plug this in, it's gonna allow you to run your high flow sense on your D-Series Caterpillar. That's the only machine that we know of that uses that so far. But if you do have other machines that come up, leave a comment in our, in our comment section just so we know and we'll update our information. And then uh, others can, can do this. If it doesn't line up with ground, if some of the new machines have that, let us know as well because uh, we can always add extra jumpers inside these connectors. But some people say, you know, why is this so expensive? And it's simply because we have a lot of little extra things that are built into these, even these LEDs. Uh, a regular Deutsch is a, is, is a few pennies where these cost dollars to, to actually install these. So um, we think this is a really good way of covering a lot of ground. And uh, um, we think that you, this just pretty much takes care of everybody's needs for if you've got just a two channel attachment that you need to operate. Here's something extra. This is our DTR 2-DTP2 108. So it's a 108 inch cable extension. This is the most common thing you're gonna buy if you buy one of our, uh, our two pin plug and plays. And what this does is this just literally plugs into the end here and it takes your two outputs and takes it all the way down the boom to your two solenoids. Generally you'd use this on a broom or a soil conditioner. So now, what's great about this is troubleshooting. So now when I run it, see that? I can see exactly which one does what, all the way down to my boom. So now I plug this into my solenoids and I'm good to go. I've got everything I need to make uh, my attachment run. And this is a very inexpensive way of getting your attachments up and going, especially if you only have a couple of solenoids. So check this out on our website. Um, we have all kinds of kits for all the different attachments that are out there. We're adding more and more as more uh, attachments become available. We're adding more kits, trying to make up a guide and everything so it's really easy to, uh, to put these kits together and plug them in and get you going as fast as possible.